Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we say thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your presence in this place. We love you and we honor you. Thank you for the chance and the opportunity that you've given us to hear your word. Speak to us, O oh God. Spirit of God, take over. It's all about you. In Jesus' name. And the church said, Amen. Praise God. Most welcome everyone watching us live. God bless you. God favor you. My name is Titi Eagles. Coming to you live from Nairobi, Kenya. Um, I want to speak about your light has come. Your light has come. Somebody say, my light has come. Say, my light has come. Say, my light has come. In the book of Isaiah chapter 60, in the book of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1, that's um, where we are beginning from. That's where our text, uh, we are driving it from. Your light has come. Again, my name is Titi Eagles, the lead pastor, Eagles Dominion House International. We are here in Nairobi City Center. Sunbeam Shopping Complex, fifth floor, that's where we are. We're right opposite Equity Bank, that is housed by United Quarters along Fangana Street. You can call that number for inquiries, for prayers, anything that you want to maybe to hear the word of God more, maybe to be prayed for, maybe you need a prophetic word, you can call that number, you will get me life, and we shall pray together. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1, if you are there. Arise, shine, for your light has come. <coughs> Arise, shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Isaiah is telling the children of Israel, Arise, comma, shine. Arise, shine. And then he makes it more sweet. For your light has come. When the Bible talks about your light has come, it is all about timing. Oh. It's all about a ripe season. It's all about a fruit that is ripe and ready to be harvested or ready to be plucked arise shine for your light has come he's saying your light has come and because your light has come it commands men arise so it is your duty to arise Come on, tell your neighbor, it is your, you have a duty to arise. God will supply the light. God will bring the season. God will bring the time. God will make things right. But it is your duty to arise. It is your duty also to shine. Oh. What is to arise? Arise. Not rise. Arise. Arise it took, is to come into existence. It's to come into existence or begin to be noticed. Arise is to come into existence or begin to be noticed. Arise, meaning you are not being noticed before. But because the Bible is saying, arise shine for your light has come if you were not being noticed before it is time to be noticed if they were not noticing the gift that God has given you it is time for them to notice the gift 
Now, it is very, sometimes it's not easy to understand the timing of God. Because sometimes God will tell you, arise, shine. But at that moment, you are going through a season of pain. I repeat again. The season physically that you are going through may not look, that word may not look favorable to that season. But your timing and the timing of God are not the same. The season of God and your season are not the same. When God says, arise, shine, your light has come, you obey. You believe. To arise is to start to happen or exist. To start to happen. Uh, what God has put in the inside of you to begin to happen. Ah, uh, arise. When he says arise, he says there's something that I deposited in the inside of you. And what I'm saying to you, begin to happen. It is beginning to happen. That give that grace, that ministry will begin to happen. Somebody say arise. Shout arise. To arise also means to ascend. Ah. To mount up. Are you here? It means to ascend. It means to mount up. Tell your neighbor, it is time to mount up. You remember the scripture says to mount up with wings like an eagle. Yes, it is time. When, when, when an eagle mounts up with his wings, what it does, yeah, you can say the eagle arose. It is time. Because God is giving you wings. Somebody say, I need it. God is giving you wings. The eagle wings. That you can mount up. That you can arise. This is a, a service that you needed to be in. Join me wherever you are. Because God is giving you wings. For it is time to mount up. It is time to mount up. It is time for that idea that God gave you. Many years ago, you still have it. You don't know what to do. It is time to arise. I'm hearing this. Someone, you're sleeping on an idea that God gave you. That if you had put it into practice, you would be swimming in millions right now. Let me say this. It is time. Your light has come. There is an idea that there is something that you have. There is something that you have. Moses was asked, what do you have? And the rod in his hand, he was a throw it on the ground. It turned to a snake. The widow that comes to Elisha, what do you have? A little oil. A little oil that my husband left behind. A little oil. Ah, can I say this? <laughs> when I said when Bible talks about your light has come, it's all about timing. When this little oil that the husband left would have paid the debts that he left behind but the time was not yet the timing of God was different from the timing of man what do I mean the owner of the little oil before he dies he should have done what Elisha said should be done. He should have gone to Elisha and said, I need my debt settled and I have some little oil. But you know what? When the time is ripe, I 
I spoke about illumination. There is always illumination. There is always an understanding of matters. There is always an understanding that, oh, God gave me an idea. God, God spoke to me sometime. God said something. To arise, it means to spring up. To spring up. To spring up. Somebody say, I am springing up. Ah, shout, I am springing up. You don't know who you are. Arise. You don't know what you carry. They told you you are good for nothing. They lied to you. They said you're a nobody. They lied to you. They said you can never get married. They lied to you. They said you can never be an entrepreneur. They lied to you. They said you can never start that company. They lied to you. They said you can never begin that church. They lied to you. They said you can never amount to anything. They lied to you. But the Bible is telling you today, arise, shine. Your light has come. This is your time to be known. This is your time to arise. It's your time to shine. It's your time to be noticed. It's your time. It's your time to be noticed. Oh, come on, wherever you are, tap yourself, tap yourself and say, It's my time to be noticed. You are not just dumping, I'm saying, tap yourself and say, It's my time to be noticed. You've been hidden for a long time. You've been unnoticed for a long time. Are you here? You've been ridiculed for a long time. They've seen you as nothing for a long time. Arise. You're springing up. I prophesy. You are springing up. That idea that God gave you is springing up. That business is springing up. I don't know why God is speaking of an idea. I don't know why God is talking of an idea. An idea. There's an idea that you have tried to implement. But you know what? It is springing up. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. To, to arise also means to come to action. <coughs> to come to action. Or to come into action. To come into being. Hey, to come into being hey, I'm loving this arise to come into being to come into being and I'm seeing something the Lord is giving me a word to somebody I don't know who you are I don't know if it belongs to you whether in the house or anyone watching us online listen to me I saw this I saw Adam woken up from the sleep and when he woke up he saw Eve you're about to wake up into a surprise that God had prepared for you I say you're about to wake up oh my goodness my goodness my goodness you're about to wake up into a surprise that God had prepared for you ah because it is time it is your time it is your time it is your time it is your time what you could not access God is preparing it for you and you're about to wake up into it Adam Adam just woke up from the deep sleep and what stood before him what stood before Adam he was a beautiful creature that he had never seen before he had seen animals he had seen female animals he had seen female you know lions and other stuff but he had never seen a woman Adam opened his eyes and what he sees first is a beautiful creature you're about to open your eyes and standing before you is the miracle that you didn't know how to do, to come about it is a beautiful thing that God had prepared for you from the foundations of the earth i am talking to somebody can i prophesy you're about to wake up to a miracle that god himself that god himself had prepared oh it will be like a dream oh 
Many words are not put in the book of Genesis. But I'm sure Adam should have wiped his eyes to see whether he was dreaming. Adam should have beat himself because a beautiful creature stood before him. Did you hear what I said? Something beautiful. <laughs> God is about to place something beautiful. Do you know where Eve came from? From inside of Adam. In other words, can I talk to somebody? What you need is in the inside of you. It is time when God says arise you just needed light it is light that brings out that springs hey, out of your belly shall flow rivers rivers of living waters out of you something beautiful is coming out it's springing out arise in other words what the Spirit of God is telling us is that, are you here? Is that Adam, are you here? Adam was in a deep sleep, but when he arose, suddenly the man that was lonely, the man that was alone, the man that looked what has God done? Has God done a mistake? Because for the male cow, God created the female cow. I, I mean, I, I, for a bull, God created the female cow. Are you here? In, in, in every male, there was a female. But Adam looked like he's alone. He looked like he's lonely. I know there are people that have looked at you and they've said you are a mistake. God made a mistake. I came to tell you that God never made a mistake. The time has come to prove to the world that God never made a mistake concerning your life. That there is an Eve. There is a helper. Arise. You are arising to a surprise. You are arising into a surprise. God is doing it. I said, God is doing it. I said, God is doing it. Can I talk to somebody? God never told Adam, this is the plan I have. <laughs> God never told Adam, this is how I am going to execute my plan. But he causes Adam into a deep sleep. And while in the deep sleep, Adam cannot tell you what really happened. But he was in a deep sleep. He was in a deep sleep. And God comes and performs an operation and takes out a rib. And out of the rib from Adam, he makes a woman, a creature. A creature that when Adam opened up his eyes, Hmm. Hmm. Who am I talking to? 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 Le pakatara basari, le koprehedi shafela suzila, le protokose prekete marama, harombre de shaka tabaraba. Arise, somebody! Arise! Your time has come. Arise! Arise, Adam arose, this is your time, this is your time, this is your time, this, I say this is your time, this is your time. Adam woke up, to arise is to wake up, yes, Adam woke up from a deep sleep. In the book of Genesis, can we check there? It's becoming more sweeter. The Holy Ghost has taken me into a direction I didn't know. Ah, I worship your daddy. I worship your daddy. Daddy, I worship you. Woo! Verse 18 of Genesis chapter 2. And the Lord God said, it is not good that man should be alone. I want to say this. Woman, Eve, was not the idea of Adam. Eve was the idea of God. 
What God is about to do in your life, it is not your doing. It is not your idea. It is God's idea. You see this work here? It was not my idea. I was busy in the hospital. I was busy attending to patients. And the Lord told me, son, I want you to serve me. I want you to leave your career. I want you to leave your job. I have a better idea. I had an idea myself. But you know, my parents had an idea. They took me to school. I studied. But God had another idea. And he made me to sleep. And I woke up into this. The same God that has done. He is doing the same. He is doing again. He is doing now. Eve was not the idea of Adam. I know you have your own ideas. But can you allow the idea of God? God is telling Adam. God said to himself. He was not even sharing to Adam. That things that God will speak is not sharing with you. And the Lord God said it is not good that man should be alone. I will make him a helper. Comparable to him. Not co comparable to him. I will make him a helper. Adam is not even there when God is planning. Adam is not there when God is planning for Eve. Adam has no idea that there is a creature called Eve. Adam has, it, uh, he has not conceived in him. It is God. In his majesty, in his power. He says, it's not good for man to, be, to live alone. It's not good. He looked at man and said, it's not good for man to be alone. <laughs> I will make him a comparable helper. I will make him a suitable helper. And you know what? What he did? Out of uh, 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 verse 19. Let's, let's, let's jump to verse 21. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall on Adam. And he slept and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh in its place. You know what God did? God came. He was the first. Adam went to theater. He was the first man to be operated by God. The first surgeon was God. He is always the first. Are you here? And the last. So God takes Adam into theater and opens up his ribs and takes up the rib and, and closes with flesh. Oh my. Hey. Out of the ground, 21. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall on Adam. And he slept and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh in his place. Then the rib which the Lord God had taken from man, he made into a woman. Can you imagine? Out of a rib, God makes a woman. Hey. Eve never came out of a hip. Never call, never tell a woman you are ugly. Never tell that creature you are ugly. Adam came from the clay. Eve came, yes, he was from the clay, yes, but Eve from the rib of Adam. Are you here? Are you here? Hey. <laughs> Open your mouth and tell the Lord, it's my time. It's my time. And Adam, then the rib which the Lord God had made from, me, from man, he made into a woman. And he brought her to the man. And, and Adam said, this is now born of my bones and flesh of my flesh. So shall she call woman because she was taken out of man. Ah, this is the bone of my bones. What, what they took away from you was not yours. What God is giving you is what is yours. The members that betrayed you and ran away, they were not your sons and daughters. The ones that God is bringing you are the true sons and daughters that God had prepared. God takes a rib out of Adam and from that rib he makes a woman and presents the woman. It is the work of God to present what you need unto you. It's not the work of man. That's what the Bible says. Cast is the man. Ah, but put his hope in a man. When you put your hope in a man, you are cast. You walk under a cast. You operate under a cast. But 
when you look unto God, when you look unto Jesus, the order and the finish of your faith, he will do it. Come on, somebody will do it. Can you stand up and begin to tell the Lord, I want you to do it in my life. 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 As you did to Adam, he arose and something beautiful. Oh, my goodness. My, give me some sound. Give me some sound. Arise. I have not even started preaching, but because of time, I'll continue from there. I want you to pray first. I'll give me some sound. I want you to pray. 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 For this is the time for you to arise. You are arising. Adam arose to a beautiful creature. Adam arose to a surprise that God had prepared. Adam arose to a creature that he never had an idea about. What God is about to present to you. What God is about to bring before you. What God is about to do in your life. Something is springing up. Something is mounting up out of you. Something is springing up out of you. Somebody pray. Arise, 
I see careers that will come out of darkness. Arise. I see there's a woman. You're watching me right now. Your, your cry is about your children. But I came to declare because you're saying that my children are covered with darkness. Nothing, nothing works out good for them. I came to release light. And I declare that your children are arising. I say your children are arising from darkness. Oh, arise. Your marriage that is covered with darkness, I command it, arise. Your finances that are covered with darkness, I command your finances, arise. Your career that is covered with darkness, I command it, arise. Arise, arise, says the Lord, arise, 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 Adam, <laughs> seasons are in the hands of God. One season, Adam was single, Adam was lonely. Another season, Adam is no longer single, Adam is married. I speak into your life, your season has come. Are you getting what I'm saying? I say your season has come. The season for your child has come. I said one season. Adam was lonely. Adam had no helper. But another season. And this is the season. Adam as Eve. Adam as a helper. A suitable helper. God is doing it. I said, God is doing it. I tell you, God is doing it. Hey. 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 God is doing it for you. God is doing it for you. Listen to me. If you're not born again, it is time to give your life to Jesus. It is time to surrender to Jesus. This life begins on that moment you believe in the one that died for you on the cross. Even Jesus Christ. If you have made up your mind, say after me, say Jesus, come into my life. Be my Lord and my Savior. I believe in you, Jesus. The one who died for me. The one who rose from the death. The one who carried that heavy cross for me. I believe in you. And I am born again. In Jesus name. If you pray that prayer. You're a new creation. You're born again. Your past is gone. You are saved. Yes. Look for a Bible believing church around you. If you're within Nairobi city and its environs, join this fellowship. We are Eagles Dominion House International. We are here in Sunbeam Shopping Complex, 5th floor. Just come up to 5th floor. Sunbeam Shopping Complex, right opposite Equity Bank, along Vankano Street. God bless you. God favor you. Tomorrow, don't miss. Exactly at 1, we'll be here to hear the wisdom of God and the counsel of God. Shalom. Peace. Shalom.